Hey, sports fans and savages, Greg Metz from Never Knife, MKT USA and ASK Knives. What's going on on this Thursday? Go to four tens, you'll love it. Go to four sixes, you'll love it even more. Trust me. Unless you're in the cardiac world, in which case I still want you kind of standing by on Friday because I have a grabber. That's it. That's the whole video today. We have a few knives going out to the Shank House out in Memphis, Tennessee. You want to contact Victor or Dean out there. Their number is 901-209-1040. Just like your fucking tax forms, you just got it right there and gave it to the man. 1040. <laughs> when I first started making knives, I made big knives for all my friends in the military. We had two wars going. I was in a shop by myself. I wasn't sure I was going to sell my first knife. It sold the first week. I said, I may never sell a knife, another knife again. I can't believe somebody paid me for a knife. And then somebody walked in the next day and bought seven knives. And then I went, oh, geez, I can make the rent this month. And then uh, a couple days later, somebody came in and bought knives. Next thing you know, the phone rang and somebody bought 10 knives, two knives, one knife, three knives, five knives. I said, there's too many. I, I can't make all these knives. I started making some folders. Took me a couple months to get my shit together. I made the TFF1. People were complaining about the price. I said, well, it's American made. I just did the real price. I'm not trying to be competitive with anybody. I'm just trying to tell you the real price. Here's what it costs to make the knife, and I need to make a living. Everybody bitched and bitched and bitched. I sat down, I drew, I was like in a hostile mood, and I drew the Praetorian. So the Praetorian is a rage design. I raged the Praetorian out in six minutes, and we sold 10,000 of them. Some people closed their books. I took down payments. Lesson to all you knife makers out there. I took the down payments and I funded starting a company. That's what I did. It was like a GoFundMe, but it was on my YouTube channel before anybody was doing Go, GoFundMe. And I made Praetorians. I said, why doesn't he make smaller knives? Because I had sold so many Praetorians, I had to bake all the Praetorians. And then as soon as I kind of got that served, we started making everything else. So in the last few years, you've seen medium-sized and small-sized knives, small-sized knives come from me. And it's because of that. I'm no longer at a checkpoint in the Middle East, nor are most of my friends. Prying open a door, prying open a this, cutting that, stabbing that, cutting this, chopping away at that, kicking into rooms. So for all of us city slickers who don't wear uh, heavy jeans and big boots, we came up with the medium size line. One of the first additions to that was the M48. We got three M48s here, and green, blue, black. This is all black out. Blue with opposing bronze hardware, green with opposing bronze hardware. It's got our Magnus ground tip on it. It's a way for me to carry thickness out to the edge of the blade and maintain a really strong pyramid of steel here at the end. We call it our Magnus grind. Fantastic knives performed really well. I originally designed that knife for the Patton family. And, uh, and then uh, one of the surviving children said, well, dad didn't carry a knife. We don't want a knife to remember dad by because dad didn't carry a knife. To which the grandson said, sorry, Greg. And I said, well, no problem. I don't need you fucking people. I'll do my own thing. So I brought the patent knife to the market, the M48, to pay homage to one of America's great generals. That's it. Next, Midi Marauder. So... This was my first uh, medium size of the full size Marauder, full thickness. It's a chunky, cool knife for guys who like that kind of thing. And I started liking smaller knives and that's when I came up with the Slim Midi. So it's the Midi Marauder done slim. They're the exact same plan form profile, just slightly different thicknesses of materials. So this is balanced 3 16th. This is balanced eighth inch. So you've got eighth inch slabs of tie, eighth inch slab of steel. Follow me here for a minute. So titanium per unit of density is somewhere around two thirds the weight of steel. Um, and what you get from that is a ton of strength, but you don't get heat treatability with it really for knives. So if you have two slabs that are about the same size as the blade, they're gonna weigh about one third more in combined weight than the blade. And you like the balance of the knife to be somewhere around where your front finger rides. So it kind of works out really nicely to do symmetrically balanced handle scales and blade with a front finger balance uh, expectation. Just works out really nicely since these are about 
per unit of volume, about two thirds the weight. Works out kind of nicely. You guys can find these at the Shank House. Call Victor Dean, 901 209 1040, like the scam. Now, if you want to see more of my shenanigans, you can go to iTunes, Spotify, Rumble, just put in there, search for The Greg Medford Show. You can hear me talk about all kinds of other stuff. Mostly knives here, though. Greg Medford, Medford Knife, MKTUSA, stuff going to the shake house. I'm out.